You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. We are joined by Dr. Faraday Bagney, president and CEO of Magnolia by the Lakes in Kego Harbor. And doctor, it is a beautiful place. How long, well, first of all, let's talk about what Magnolia is. Magnolia by the Lakes is a senior resort for individuals that are 55 years and older uh, and would like to have their independence or those who would like to have catered meals and medical attention, housekeeping activities for them provided. So there's a Magnolia North and a Magnolia South. Yes. So those are broken up. Yes. Okay. Uh, Magnolia North is our assisted living and uh, it is set up such that we have all of the residence units or studios on one floor. We have the theater, the um, activity rooms, the conference room, dining room, all of that, the nurses station, reception area, all on one floor. And Magnolia South, on the other hand, is for independent residents who would like to have at times to cook for themselves. They are luxury uh, units, we call them townhomes, that are from one bedroom, which is around 800 square feet, to all the way to a uh, three bedroom penthouses, which is close to 1,500 square feet. Um, but most of them have views of the lakes, one of the two lakes, either Cass Lake or Sylvan Lake and some of them have the views of the mini golf course that we have. So uh, you had told me when this was being designed, there were two requirements, and it was, what, was, what were they? Yes, the two requirements were, were, one, that we have to have a place that would be on the lake with a sunset, and the secondly, uh, we needed to have a place for our residents that was winterless. So being <laughs> winterless and having on the lake with a sunset, those were the two requirements. How are you doing on those requirements with this winter? Wonderful. <laughs> well, we still, even though uh, it's been a very difficult winter for, uh, for everybody, but our re residents are happy because we have multiple buildings that are all connected and uh, they can just go and sit in many different areas, watch the sunset, and even though the lake is frozen, it still is beautiful sunsets that they can watch and participate in activities, go get a glass of wine, have a cup of coffee, read. We are a branch of uh, West Bloomfield Library. They come routinely and bring in uh, new books for us, and uh, our residents can go to our various libraries and read, and so it's a fun place to be. So tell, let's talk about the importance of taking care of our seniors. And Magnolia was designed with their well-being in mind. Yes. It is my philosophy and my true belief that the seniors are the best this country has. They have raised their children, they have contributed to the society, they have take care of, taken care of their neighbors, they have not asked for any handouts, and in the autumn of their lives, they should be taken care of. And the philosophy of Magnolia by the Lakes is to make sure that they can be treated like kings and queens. Any effort that would be required to make him happy, we make. Uh, the staff are absolutely professional, they are friendly, they love our residents, and they take care of every need that the residents have. And aside from that, that the beauty of Magnolia by the Lakes uh, is unparalleled by any place in the Midwest. So when a senior comes and checks it out, and most often, as I know from personal experience, it's, it's probably the children that are coming first to check uh, it out. Most often, that is correct. There are 
seniors that just come in from Florida, they look at the place, they say, I want this place. They sign and they leave, go back to Florida <laughs> until the weather is better or right. they sell their homes and come back. Uh, yes, but the children are very important. All the decisions that the parents make in general um, have, have been approved by their children. And sometimes we have four, five, six individuals in different areas of the country that have to get involved. And so we have um, pictures sent to them, talk with them. It, it's, a, it's a fun process, but it, for them, it's a very serious process. Right, and so that being said, Magnolia not only takes care of its residents, but you take care of the whole entire family. Yes, we do. And uh, the, the most important part of seniors wanting to come to Magnolia and the loved ones wanting their parents to come to Magnolia by the lakes is the fact that the children are happy that their parents are taken care of and they are not going to get that 3 a.m. phone call from the parent that who has fallen or something has happened. And uh, it is very important for them to feel both mentally and physically at ease that their parents are taken care of. You know, and you mentioned falling, and that is a big problem with seniors falling either in their own space or even in assisted living. Uh, but you told me that there's cameras. Yes. Uh, you have to realize that I come from the cancer background and the hospital setting where you have cameras mm -hmm. and you have quite a bit of observation of every aspect of the uh, patients in the hospital. So what uh, we have done is we have installed television cameras on all public places and they are being monitored 24 hours a day not only at the nurses station, at the um, various um, reception areas, but every director, including myself, have the cameras on our cell phone so we can look at them and see what's going on. Uh, so if you had to sum it up in one sentence, what everyone should look for when they're looking for a place for their mom or dad, yes. what would it be? They should look, number one, at the cleanliness of the place. I always tell them, as you're waiting for somebody to come and say hello to you and give you a tour, just do a check and see if there is dust on the windowsill. Uh, you have to look for when you first walk in, how does it smell? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of places try to mask the that smell of uncleanliness with popcorn. They pop popcorn really? to smell. Yes, they, that, that's a trick they use. Uh, so be wary of the smell of popcorn. Also, when you first come in, look at the receptionists, look at the nurses, the other staff. Do they look at you in the eyes, smile and greet you, or do they still look down or they are on their cell phone chewing gum and um, treating you with less than dignity and respect? Because you know that's going to taper over exactly. into how they treat your family member. Exactly. That's exactly okay. how it happens. Then after that, you have to look at the um, ambience, the activities, the dining. The food is so important for residents because it is more than just having food. It is also the nutritional aspect of the food will make him healthier if they eat better food, as well as the three meals that they have or the afternoon tea or the morning fruit break. These are all times for them to talk to each other, to make friends, to socialize, and to be alive. You're making me hungry. I think I might go over there for breakfast. Um, so where can people find out more information about Magnolia? Well, there are several ways. One is our website, which is magnoliabythelakes.com. Uh, secondly, they can contact us uh, calling 248-681-8000. 
and asking for a tour and asking for information. However, we encourage them not to ask the first thing, how much does how it much? cost? Because we have 120 townhomes. Each one is a different pricing, different uh, configuration, square footage, views. So we can't give out that many pieces of information to anybody. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to meet you My and it pleasure. is really a beautiful place. Thank you so much. So any loved one would be grateful to be there, I think. Thank you. It's been a pleasure being yes. here. Thank you. And we've been joined by Dr. Faraday Bagney, President and CEO of Magnolia by the Lakes. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.